So hey guys, I've got another Unity tutorial today and this is going to be about changing material colors in Unity. And there's two specific ways we can do this and I've got three objects here, three cubes, three red cubes and the material here is just a standard material with just a basic shader with no textures and we're just going to look to change the albedo color. So the color which is in this color wheel, you can see they all change when I move that. So I'm going to show you two different examples. One example is that we can actually change the material in within Unity so it would change all the objects which share the same material. And then one example where we make an instance of the material that we want to change, change that and then the instance will be created so we can only affect one object in itself. And this is quite beneficial if you do need to either sometimes change textures, change colors, change all things like that. And it's just a basic thing that's always good to know. So what we can do is we can create ourselves a basic C sharp script by right clicking create C sharp. And what we'll do is we'll start off by calling this one change material color, which is the change material color. So what we need to do to start with is, is we need to create a reference to the material that we want to change. So in square brackets, we can write serialize field private and we want to access the material and we can just call this my material. So now we've got that access that we can create just an on trigger enter. So we can say private void on trigger enter. And when I press tab, it'll just auto complete it for me. So it's collider and then other, we're going to reference the other. So if we'll say that if other dot compare tag in quotes and brackets, we've got the player. So if the player is going to walk into our collision, we'll say that my material dot color equals color dot and then we can specify a specific color from the list in this case so we can say in this one we'll just set it to green and then what we can also do to make this apparent is we can copy that variable and paste it below and instead of on trigger enter we can say on trigger exit and then what we'll do is maybe we'll set it back to red so all we're doing we're getting the reference to our material and getting changing the color property of that material to a different one so now we can go back into unity we can select our first cube add the script to there and you can see that there's a material that it's looking for i'm using this material dot underscore red which is on our object and what we can do is make sure that the collider or the trigger that we're using is set to is trigger and our player has a tag of player and when we press play you can see that when i walk into the collider there those objects change and then when I exit they will move back and vice versa just like so do remember if you exit unity and they've already changed the color will already be changed for that material outside of runtime so that's very specific if you want to change them all and keep them changed and the other example is that we'll create another script for the uh, one where we want to create an instance of the change so we can call this change material instance and I will open that up in Visual Studio and I will get rid of our starting methods again. And again, what we're going to do, in, but this time in square brackets serialize field, we're going to write private renderer and then we're going to call this my object. And then exactly like we did in the previous um, one, we can just copy these methods that we've got for on trigger enter and exit. We'll just paste them below. But instead of doing my material dot color, this time we need to do my object dot material dot color. And we can copy that line again, paste it in there. So what we're doing this time is we get the actual renderer of our object, which holds the reference to the material that's on it, which then we can access the property. And this will help us create an instance. So we will only affect the one object that we want to. So in this case, if I just drag my object material instance, and for this instance, I want to change this middle cube here. And that is my cube one. And I can just drag that in there and it will just find the mesh renderer. And as you can see on the cube, on the mesh renderer, it holds an element for the material that we've got. So when we press play now, is that you will see that when I walk into this and walk into out, it'll change it back to red. Now in this instance, when we walk into there, you can see that only this cube at this point changed its material. And as you can see that, say we've walked in and out of that, 
we won't be affected by the original because one example to give you is that when we walk into this one you can see on this top side here it's called the M red and it's made an instance of that material so we don't affect anything else. So this is just a basic tutorial to show you how to change materials or change the instance of a material and then be able to affect the color and you can do this with lots of different examples. So thanks very much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Cheers.